<laughs> Good morning everyone. So today is week 13, day 5 I believe, or is it week 14? I think it's 14. <laughs> so yeah, today I debut my Garmin Phoenix 5X and it's yelling at me for going too fast. <laughs> Ah, so I've had this watch for a couple of days now and so far all I've done is working and I should have done something yesterday morning but I was lazy, I was cold, it's colder today, I think it's my punishment, um, I still need to slow down. Uh, So one of the features I wanted was round course trip. This is where the watch will basically tell you where to go. It calculates a circle basically and that's determined by your distance you want to run. So this is the third course it generated because I wanted about a eight kilometer run and it's 8.1 so that's pretty good but the other two courses it said were like nine and a half and uh, 11 kilometers so it just seems to do the biggest loop possible without doing left right left right left right okay so see, it says after turn, right here, I turn left, I should be so. And some random. But I do find that bit interesting. It's like I was going up the gravel road I really haven't been on before. I've been down it. And I'm like, okay, I wonder where it's gonna loop me. And then the uh, map shows it was running out, and it's like, there's no turns here. And I am um, turning right here, and I'm like, okay, I'll just keep going. And then it says, no, nah, you've gone off course, turn around. So it just made me run up this hill for no reason other than to run up the hill, <laughs> which I shouldn't be complaining, but it's like, eh. <sighs> really need a selfie stick back. But more importantly, I hope this loops past the toilets in Grand Donald. Most of my videos are bowel related now. It's like, I need to have a shit, I need to have a shit. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, so that's today's run all done and dusted. Uh, by the 7th and 8th K, I was feeling really good and I could tell, even though I had a uh, zone set for my pace for, I was like 5 minute 30 for the fastest I wanted to go I could tell that I was like just on that borderline bit, just cruising along uh, It felt really good, there was no uh, complications with my calf at all, which I think is great uh, I think it really is the speed work, so if I don't go any faster than that, I think it'll be good. On my long runs, I'm not going to be going that fast anyway. Overall, really happy with the watch. There was one hiccup shortly after I stopped recording. Uh, I was turning left, and then it wanted me to turn right, but it was actually going to go through someone's property, so I didn't end up going that way, obviously. I'm just like, no, nah, I'll just keep going this way, and it figured out. 
where I was at that point. So I think there is a little slight inaccuracy with the navigation thing, but that could just be because of the maps that have been installed. I think I do need to update them. Uh, yeah, apart from that, really good. It was nice to have a new watch where all these new records popped up and it's like, uh, they'll be broken soon. <laughs> It's like the fastest mile was like 9 minutes, fastest K was like 5.28, longest distance, 8 kilometres, wow. <laughs> but it also detected my VO2 max, which said new VO2 max of 49, which I feel like I can do better than that. Well, I wasn't really gunning it today, so maybe it'll pick something up in the 50s or 60s. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Um, yeah, apart from that, thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to try and keep this short so I can finish. I'll try and edit it, get it uploaded before I go to work today, as I'll be going to the Churchill Pub tonight again. So this is the last big day for this week. Uh, tomorrow I'll be volunteering at Churchill Park Run, and then I'll probably do a long run after that. I might try and queue one up with Mandy. She said she had to do 21Ks or something, so I wonder if we should go do the seven gates. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, so thanks for that, guys. See you next time. Bye.